Hi, I'm Brittany Leone here with Red Carpet Report. We're here at the NBC Universal Winter Press Tour. Meeting you guys. So you two, two of the stars of the Imposters. You want to hear that song? Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's your better side. It is. Thank yeah. you. Oh no, you guys look great. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. This is not my good side, but I'm fine with it. I'm going to sacrifice for you. you How do. sweet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, here we go again. Here we go again. It all away. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. I just hit you. It's okay. Mm. You all right? Yeah. It's yes. So tell us about the imposters and, and you guys' characters. Do you want to go? I'll go. You go. Sure. Ladies um, first. Okay. I, I play... A terrible person. <laughs> did, did I say that? I didn't mean that. We're almost done. It Get it out. together. Sorry. That was a moment of truth. I don't even know where that came from. Okay. Go on. I play Maddie Johnson, who is a con artist who uh, makes men and women fall in love with her, marry her, and then runs off with all they got. Ouch. And is a terrible <laughs> Yep. Hashtag yeah. ouch. Nice work if you can get it. You want to do this? You want to go? Hey, I'm just, no, it's fine. Go? It's fine. It's all right. I'm just working some stuff out here. You go. Go you ahead. Go. Explain who you no, play no. now. I play a guy called Ezra Bloom. <laughs> <laughs> he was a very nice uh, man from Indianapolis. Um, nothing's ever really happened to him in his life. He maybe feels that he could have taken some risks or traveled, and he didn't, and he's nearly 30. And he suddenly meets this woman, this gorgeous Belgian waitress, who he falls completely in love with, and they get married, and 28 days later, he comes home, and she's gone. And she's taken all his money, and she's left a video saying, you're never going to see me again, and if you ever try and find me, then horrible things will happen to you and your family. Wow. It's 15 minutes. <laughs> that's, like quite, that's quite the start to the show. That's how it all starts. And then yeah. he decides he meets another guy that this has also happened to, and they decide they're going to team up to track her down together. Wow. But they have no money because she's taken all their money, so they need to start grifting themselves and become con artists themselves, but they're not very good at it. Uh, so there are lots of uh, hopefully very funny scenes where they're trying to lift people's wallets and steal people's petrol and stuff, but not doing, not doing it very well and running away. <laughs> yeah, she's good at it. We're Amateurs. <laughs> Amateurs. Yeah, we're trying. And how, how do you justify your character's actions? I think that we're all um, putting on different masks every day to fit into different molds, you know? Whether, whether it's your boss that you're trying to impress or a girl that you're trying to pick up at a bar or your your boyfriend's parents that you want them to like you like we all you know what the situation demands yeah, yeah. you 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 play a, a role to to get what you want and i think that um that's something that everyone goes through every day uh, maybe not stealing people's money but yeah. we can all be a little bit conniving sometimes yeah no we all we all become those that she's kind of screwed over, we team up and we become a bit morally ambiguous ourselves because we start doing things that maybe we're not that proud of to try and find her. And when it starts getting quite fun, and we're like, oh, this is actually really fun. I kind of get it. I kind of get her thing. There's and uh, that's kind of what the series the looks like. Yeah. There's something dangerous of getting and fun away with something. Yeah. It. And it's scary that, you know, you could not fully know who the person you're dating is or. You know, I guess everyone has gone through that. Had that. Yeah, we have all that thing where you don't, how well do you know the person you're with? And then when, when it goes wrong, as it often does, you think, oh, okay, that was not <laughs> what I thought it was. <laughs> yeah. You're yeah. not who I thought you were. Yeah, yeah, everyone can identify with that, which is... And how well do you really know yourself? Mm -hmm. That's another great question to ask. Right, right. That's you're the right. question. <laughs> that is a good question. Questions. Yeah, mm -hmm. but that's one of the great things about the show. I think people are asking how this show is different to other con shows, and I think one of the great things about it, I think it's written with such wisdom about the nature of love and about the nature of relationships, but in a really honest way. You know, it's not sentimental in any way. It's very, almost brutally honest about why we fall for the people we fall for and Absolutely. what we're trying to, and how much of it's about ourselves, like how much, how, how much we're actually not happy about inside ourselves and how much we're covering that up by falling for somebody, you know, and putting everything on them. And then when it goes wrong, you're like, okay, I'm back to back to my old self. I think it's really, the show really looks at that and what, what it means to, to be someone, to know yourself. Yeah. Yeah. And what day does it premiere? February 7th. All right. Well, I'm definitely watching. Please do. Thank you. We yeah. need all the eyeballs we can get. I got you. Thanks, girl. Thank you, guys. Have nice. a great day. Thank you so much. <laughs> get, get, get 
Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to watch more videos, and in the comments below, let me know which show you're most looking forward to. I am super psyched for the arrangement. <laughs>